Steve Robbins here. Welcome to the Get It Done Guys, quick and dirty tips to work less and do more. If you haven't bought my book yet, you can read some excerpts from it in the mini ebook, Three Bad Habits Successful People Break. You can download it from Amazon, Barnes & Noble, the iBookstore, or Books A Million. Life after college can take some adjusting. Oh, at first the freedom is exhilarating. No problem sets, no papers, yay! Then you realize you have a job. You're supposed to dress like a robot, suppress your individuality, and submit your will to your corporate overlords. Ha ha ha, the joke's on you. Welcome to being an adult. Of course, things might not be quite that bad. I mean, you might not have a job yet and be living at home. Fun! But you really will need a job, so your job right now is to get a job. Either way, there are some basics you need to get things done in the real world. Learn these tools now and start making them a habit. Your brain is still flexible and nimble. Train it well, and these will pay off for your entire career. Tip number one, get a calendar. In the real world, people schedule things. You'll find obsessive stress-driven people who actually schedule things down to the minute. You need a calendar so you can make appointments far in advance and note down deadlines so you have ample warning. And when you record a deadline in your calendar, at the same time, you can block out time to work on the project so you're sure of meeting the deadline. My tool of choice is Google Calendar. I synchronize it with my desktop and my smartphone so I can add appointments no matter where I am and the appointments show up everywhere. When you're using your calendar, explore the month at a glance and week at a glance views to make sure that you're balancing out your commitments. When someone asks, are you free for an 8 a.m. meeting Friday? Check the week at a glance view to make sure you aren't coming back from a trip late Thursday. I've had this happen. It sucks. Use your month at a glance view to make sure that your workload and travel schedule are well balanced over the course of the entire month. Tip number two, get a to-do list. See all that blank space in your schedule? You can use that time to play video games, go shopping with friends, or learn to skin an entire moose using only a paring knife. Just kidding. Your second tool is a to-do list, where you write down projects that don't have a deadline. When you have unscheduled time, you do the tasks on your to-do list and check them off when they're done. Your to-do list grows forever, like the interest on your credit cards. Your corporate overlords have more to-do items for you than you possibly have time to do. Welcome to the real world. That once-a-week vacuum the living room thing for your allowance? Starting to look pretty good, isn't it? You'll soon have a million items on your to-do list. How do you choose which one to do next? I recommend the Super Focus System by Mark Forster. There's a link in this episode's transcript. And where do you keep your to-do list? It's a surprisingly hard choice. I've tried dozens of to-do apps, and I always end up returning to paper and pencil. Check out my episode on choosing the perfect tool for more details. Tip number three, get an address book. You'll meet people in your job. Make a good impression. Make eye contact, get their contact details, and put them in your address book. Don't just link to them on Facebook. Make sure you have a separate record of them somewhere. Use your address book notes field to jot down where you met and anything you want to remember, like what they do, their hobbies, their favorite soup, etc. I keep both work and personal contacts in one address book, and I note which are which in the notes field. If you're using your employer's address book system, however, keep them separate. Make sure you know how to export your work address book to a format you can import at home. If you leave your job, and you will, you'll definitely want to be able to take a copy of your address book with you, and you don't want to leave your personal contacts behind for the IT guys to snicker at. Who you know will be crucial throughout your career. Touch base with people regularly, by phone or in person. Friending on Facebook or connecting on LinkedIn does not grow the kind of relationships where people do big career favors for each other. It's sad that you had to grow up in a world where you didn't learn the importance of in-person relationships, but that's the price you pay for having a cell phone at an age when I wasn't even allowed to talk on the phone after 6 p.m. Start learning to form and deepen in-person relationships now or prepare to be marginalized 10 years into your career. Tip number four, get a capture device or app. Because during the day, things will come up that you need to remember. To-do items, telephone numbers, the names of vendors, and so on. You need a way to keep track of these. Whether you carry a memo pad to jot things down or use an app to key in important details, the main point is that when you get back to your desk or to your cubicle or to your assigned two-foot-by-two-foot two patch of carpet behind the closet, 
transfer what you jotted down to your to-do list, to your calendar, or wherever it goes. My episode on creating one master system to organize your life gives more detail about using a capture device. Tip number five, even if you're not employed, you still need organization. If your life is an endless stream of Xbox and Doritos because you're unemployed, get organized for your job hunt. My episode on staying organized while you look for a job will tell you everything you need to set up systems for the job hunt. There is, of course, a link in this episode's transcript. Welcome to the real world. Armed with your calendar, your to-do list, your address book, and your memo pad, you'll go far. This episode's transcript has links to more episodes that go into detail about how to use all these tools to make your life more organized and more successful. This is Steve Robbins. Follow Get It Done Guy on Twitter and Facebook. You can find this episode's transcript at getitdone.quickanddirtytips.com. I advise entrepreneurs to help them grow their businesses while having a life. I help them untangle hard people issues and communicate their value to employees, investors, and customers. If you want to know more, visit steverrobbins.com for details. Work less, do more, and have a great life. 